Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today guys we're doing another video for you. This is not a recommendation, this is a video that I've wanted to put out for some time and this is both going to be going on to my Insta, YouTube and TikTok and it's a very important video not just to me but to everyone out there. As everyone might be aware and if you're not aware it is World Mental Health Day and I've wanted to talk about my mental health and what it does to me on a regular basis for some time but I never could find the right moment to put it out but I feel today is the right mo moment to put it out so where should we start I think it's only best to start with my mental health and what I suffer with so I suffer with a lot of things guys I firstly suffer with depression and that was one of the first things that I kind of knew about when you know I get upset and I get sad everyone does but to me when it's like suicidal I guess it's like it's really hard to like get out of that hole really because when you're in that hole you think there's no way out there's no light at the end of the tunnel and if it weren't for friends and family supporting me I don't know where I'd be especially friends close to me who suffer with mental health as well I also suffer with a lot of anxiety and social anxiety it might feel weird because I upload a lot and I sing in front of just my camera really but I know the later outcome is I'm actually putting out to a lot of people and some would say you don't look you don't look like you've got anxiety it doesn't look like you're nervous at all that's not the case guys actually i'm really a nervous person i'm really shy actually um but singing does help me a lot it does really help me so does my writing um but social anxiety sometimes i don't even want to go outside because i'm afraid of getting judged on the way i look or the way i act so for me just stepping outside or getting some fresh air is a real big challenge for me guys so and meeting people like either on night nights out or like just randomly in Norwich and they're coming up to me and saying I really enjoying your TikTok or your YouTube that puts a big smile on my face and that means I can continue doing what I love for the people that I love but I also suffer with a medical condition called Kleinfelters now for anyone who's not aware, and believe you me guys, I weren't aware of this condition when I first um, got noticed and first diagnosed of it. Um, it's a medical condition which affects pretty much all of my body from head to toe. So in regards to my brain, I don't think like everyone else. So basically I have a lot of like memory loss and I don't remember things like straight away. I have to write, write stuff down or I have to make notes of it. Um, so if someone said, for an example, like say I was doing driving and an instructor said to me, right, go off and do it on your own. I would be able to say to him or her, I can't, I have to write it down and I then have to process it that way. Um, and then working towards downwards of my body, I actually can't put on any muscle or a any weight. So that in itself is quite difficult actually, guys, because... I'm not the bulkiest of blokes and I'm not the, uh, I haven't got any meat on me and that in itself is hard because I can't put on weight and that makes me really sad because I don't want to stay like this stature forever. I want to eventually, you know, be a lot bigger within myself and I want to put on more muscle, but I know that's now not possible so that really makes me sad and again that's where the depression hits in and um i become very low i have low self-esteem and low confidence and sometimes i don't even want to get out of bed because i feel so down about myself but then working towards the body um i also there is a big another big side effect to having climb filters um i can't biologically have kids so that hit me pretty hard at a young age, knowing that I can't um, biologically have children. It, it definitely hit me hard and I was really sad, not going to lie, guys. And I cried my eyes out in front of my mum, not going to lie. But there's other options. I know that, guys. I know there's other options as well. And believe you me, every penny that I save is going to go towards my child's future or children's future. Um, but that, again, just struck me hard. But... I am trying to be much more confident in myself, guys. And that's why I...
do YouTube and that's why I write and that's why, why I read a lot because it helps me and I also suffer from uh, severe IBS but mainly all that's in the core structure of my centre stomach sometimes it's at the hips but in regards to my stomach pains um, uh, they are ve uh, very severely um, I had an episode last night um, basically what happens when this pain comes on is I get to a point guys and um, most of my mates know this about me and I have mates who do suffer with IBS, stomach problems or migraines or Crohn's disease. So they know what I'm going through, which is great because I can talk to them about it and see how they cope with it. But for me, when it gets bad, guys, I'm doubled over in pain. I feel sick. Uh, I can't move. And the severity of it is I just want to kill. I just want my, to die, really. I just want to just like kill myself because I have all these suicidal thoughts and I feel as if myself, I would just be be better off if I wasn't around anymore because the pain wouldn't be there anymore. But I always say it's important to talk about your me mental health because no one should suffer in silence. Believe you me, guys, I've been there. I've kept things bottled up and it's got to a point of where I couldn't take it anymore. But as I said before, with all my friends and family around me, it made it easier to talk about it because growing up, I never had like a lot of friends i never had anyone to talk to so everything that happened to me and believe you me a lot of bad things happened to me growing up uh i didn't have anyone to confide in so i kept all them feelings bottled up but if there was someone around i definitely would have talked to someone but as i say to anyone who's suffering with mental health or if you've got any problems come speak to me like i've been there i've gone through it um and i want to help anyone possible with anything that can be helped with You'll find me on uh, any social media platform, so TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Just DM me, PM me, private message me, direct message me, and just talk to me, really, guys. I don't want anyone to go through what I went through or what some of my friends have been through. But I just thought, and if you want to know anything else about my conditions, anything, please, again, ask me, guys, because I want more people to be aware of what I go through on a daily basis and I want you to be more aware of my condition really um, because not a lot of people know that about me I'll be honest with you guys only friends and family know that about me but yeah if you guys ever want to chat to me you know where I am and guys I hope you have a great day today please do not suffer in silence please talk to someone and look out for each other and I'll see you soon guys bye